Association. The Department of Housing and Urban Development and the federal government writ large in the first seven decades of the 20th century invested billions of dollars in racial segregation and concentrated poverty. Each time this country created a peculiar institution that subordinated black people, slavery, Jim Crow, it created and dismantled it. They replaced it with another one. And the iconic black ghetto, I don't use that as a purgative, I use it as a descriptor, was a follow-on institution to slavery and Jim Crow. That's the legacy that every new administration inherits, and the Biden administration has as well. Today, I'm directing the part. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kadash. It's all praises to the world calls God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh by Hashem, and in the name Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, I want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. In peace and mercy. To the hope of that preacher's word and truth and sincerity on the brother Tazabah in the Great Millstone, Arizona camp. Lord will with another video to edify and uh this is a fire video man that the elder puts up he always puts these videos together put on all this information together i don't know if this is like a a video where he uh stitches all these little videos and everything together but this is showing you that we in the hand of our enemies man and just in case I didn't say it, a Yahu, uh, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakhakadash, double honors to, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole full lake, preaching, swearing, and truth and sincerity. But uh, in case you didn't know it, man, we are in the hands of our, our enemies, the so called white men at large, right? Who are the Edomites, right? According to the scriptures, according to their spirit and how they move, Esau, Edom are the so called Caucasians. And our earth today. And that's including those people wearing them little small hats in the land of Israel today. All right. These are our damn enemies. And all of them have had a consorted effort to try to keep and oppress, oppress Jake. And that's all scriptural. America was not built up and set up for you, Jake, to get reparations to help you catch up to these devils. America was set up as a place of punishment. And these devils ensure that you are punished daily. Whether or not you want to believe it or not, that's the cold hard truth. And I would encourage people to watch this video. I'm a Lord, Lord will, I'm going to put this in, a, in the description when I'm done. But we are in the hands of our enemies, man. And this is showing it. We are only going to be oppressed by these people. The scriptures tell you we, we look for a nation. All right, let me get that. I had a call, but the scriptures tell you right here, Lamentation 4 and 17, it says, As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. In what in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save. And that's the problem with Jake. They still keep looking at this devil like he's about to change. Like they can vote somebody into a system that he owns, that he dictates. And like they're going to do something to bring them to some type of salvation in a land that you've perpetually been destroyed in. That's that's off. That's so off. So we look for people that weren't going to ever be for our, our good. Jake need to understand that these devils are not for our turn. They're not for our turn. There's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can work out of because it's in their spirit to do wickedly. It's in their spirit to constantly oppress and destroy us. This is uh, the prayer of Azariah 1. In verse 9. It says, And thou didst deliver us into the hands of, a, of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of the Most High, and to an unjust king, in the most wicked in all the world. And that's where we are. We're in the hands of the most wicked, lawless people in all the world. So what do they do? 
They constantly oppress us, so much so that all nations are using the oppression that they've given us as a jump off point to uh, uh, tell Esau that he has nothing to say in their countries because of how he treated us. Well, you heathen have also been part of our oppression, right? Because it's not just in America that Jake is oppressed. Going to South America, right? Going to go into a, a, a France, England, right? Jamaica, Haiti, all those places are oppressed by what? Edomites. This is uh, Isaiah 47. And six, it says. Yeah, it's so going to Esau, the Chaldeans, with the, which, which were the chief sorcerers in Babylon. America is that new Babylon, right? But it says, uh, verse six, I was wroth for, with my people. I was wroth with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine head. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancients hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. These, these devils have very heavily laid the yoke on us. The Lord put us in his devil's hand and look what he's done. He's found every way and every policy to consistently oppress us. If it wasn't slavery, it was Jim Crow. If it wasn't Jim Crow, it was a redlining. If it wasn't redlining, it was, uh, it was discretionary policies that were upheld in congressional courts, upheld in, in Supreme Court rulings, where they sat there and said, uh, if you're if 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 an Edomite sells their house to a so-called Negro, right, they are liable to be sued. And whoever bought if a, another Edomite who didn't sign that contract buy the house, that contract is a binding house to the property. This is why you have neighborhoods that you'll never see a, a so-called Negro in, because they've consistently made it so that they'll never have Jake around them, and that's fine. That's a better way to be, to separate from these devils. But this is, has been a very heavy yoke that they put on us, man. The hood was something made up by them, and they made it so what? We can't get out. The scriptures tell you they hunt our steps, man. No matter what we do, these devils are on our ass, hot and heavy. It says, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, thou, that, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of them, because... What he's done, he's going to have to pay for. The Lord recognizes all this stuff. The Lord sees it all. The Lord knows it all. And he's going to reward you for all of it. Right? This is Ezekiel 35. And uh, verse 5. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual... I got to start up. Verse 2, it says, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. And what is Mount Seir? It's the dwelling place of the Edomites. Well, America is the main dwelling place of the Edomites. And say unto it, thus say Yahweh, power, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy land waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am Yahweh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. The Lord said he had a perpetual hatred. Right? If the Lord did, uh, if the Lord designated this devil's hatred to you tribes as perpetual why in the hell are you looking for this devil to change and have to show some love like they got that saying now if, if god can't save these hoes what makes think which makes you think you can right well if Esau a damn demon and the Lord said it, why do you why are you try to make him out to be this angelic force? He's not. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had to end. These devils have shown, shown every ounce of hatred towards us, man. All right? When you're talking about the amount of massacres that happened to those set called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans off the hands of you Edomites, it's, it's, it's uh, the hands of the Edomites, the so-called white men. It's staggering, bro. 
It's staggering. But where's the, the so-called black and white massacres? Right? Outside of, uh, uh, outside in, in the scriptures when uh, we were pushing them devils off the edge of the cliff, y'all ain't got no accounts of it. Right? Y'all will kill us unprovoked. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, say, Yahweh, power, I will prepare thee unto blood and, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. I will make uh, Malaser most desolate and cut off from him him that pass it out and him that return it. See, the Lord has a judgment for what you devils have done to us. The amount of destruction that you put on us, man, the Lord has, has a judgment for it. And that's the beautiful thing about the Lord, that he's a just power. All right, Zechariah 1. In 15, it says, uh, it says, uh, and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased and they helped forward the affliction. All right? The Lord was just a little mad at us, man. All right? Out of all the wickedness we did, the Lord was a little mad at us. Because you know what? There was still the elect within us. There was still the elect of the nation. Right? But you devils have forward the affliction. Here it is. After slavery, you found a whole new way. To oppress us, put uh, new chains on us, do laws and, 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 and statutes and contracts. The Lord sees all that, man. It says, uh, I'm going to my next one. This is uh, Jeremiah 12. Jeremiah 12 and uh, 7. It says, I've forsaken my house. You see, the Lord put us away. I have left mine heritage, right? I have given the dearly beloved of my soul into the hand of her enemies. And that's where we're at to this day. We're in the hand of our enemies. This is why you're in the hood still. As many as, as many Jake is out here making money in, 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 in the entertainment industries, Right. These Fortune 500 companies. Right. These scientists. There's a lot of Jake scientists, a lot of Jake engineers that you you'll never know. Right. But as many as they are. Right. Why do you think that none of them really go back to the hood and pull Jake out of it? It's because these devils tell them what they can and can't can't spend their money on. Right? Because the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And Esau rules this shit. You want a loan? You got to go to Esau. But what are you spending that money on? Why that? Nah, we ain't going to give you that money for that. Right? But we're in the hands of our enemies to this day. And the Lord put us there for a reason. Because we offended against him. We went off. We went all the way the fuck off. Right. And Jake, in, in their emotion, right, or look at that situation and be like, who want to serve a God that 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 would put you to death over generation and generation? Well, you got to understand the time of the Lord. A day to the Lord is as a thousand years and a thousand years of one day. So the wickedness that we've done to the heavenly father is barely, it's barely half a day. man. Right. And in, in, in half of a day, we've done so much wickedness repetitively. Though the Lord has been so good to us when things were right, right? When we were getting all the blessings, we've done so much wickedness as a nation that, hey, we deserve this ass whooping. We deserve the licking. We, we, we deserve, the, we deserve the, sp the spanking of the Lord. And we're getting it, right? So he gave us into the hands of our enemies. This is, uh, this is, um, Jeremiah 30. And 14, it says, uh, 
No, I'll go right to 14. It says, and he shall break, uh, break it as the breaking of a potter's vessel that is broken in pieces, right? Talking about how the Lord was going to basically mess up Israel, right? He shall not spare so that there shall not be found in the bursting of it. Let me make sure I said that right. Yeah. Talk about Jake. A shard of it to take fire from the heart, or to take water withal out of the pit. For thus say Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in returning and rest. Is that on the right one? Verse 14. You know what? I'm going to start up. Verse 12. It says, Wherefore thus say Yahweh, thus say the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word and trust in oppression. And this is what Jacob's done. Trust is impression. He consistently says, Go out and vote. The vote ain't this shit. You've had the opportunity to vote in this country for a long time now, and not one time has it been to you, Jake's benefit. Not one time. Not one time did they 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 restore or give you restitution for the evils that have been done to you in this country. Not one time have they actually set up something that got you out of that that hellhole that you're in. Or there would be no Jake's in the fucking hood. Here it is. Obama got in office and y'all acting like he was your great fucking black hope. And the nigga just sat there and freaked out the nation. And Biden told you you're not black if you don't vote for him. And what did he do? He made everybody get a juicy juice. And you niggas started dying by the numbers. In the midst of a a, of a P-L-A-N-Demic. Right? It says, um, in perverseness and stay there on, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in the high wall who's breaking, coming suddenly in at an instant. Right? This is what happened. The Lord caused us to go into captivity like this to destroy us, man. And he's been constantly breaking us, man. He's been constantly breaking us because we went off. Right? But the Lord said this in Micah. Four and ten, it says, um, I'll start at nine. It says, now, why does thou cry out loud? Is there no king in thee? Is thy counselor perish? For pains have taken thee as a woman in travail. Right? And Jake is always in a, in a state of mourning and anguish. Here, that's why they're ready to fight anybody in the hood. There's no peace. Their mind is, is always weighed down. They, they, they never have enough. They're around people that never have enough. Everybody's always agitated because you're fucked up. But even within that, Jake is, is wickedly oppressing his own people. That's wild, man. The scriptures tell you the poor is thrust away even of his of his friends, man. So when you go to the hood, that, that those friendships there, man, they're, they're the most fragile things ever, man. It says, be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail, for now shall thou go forth of the city and thou shalt dwell in the field and thou shalt go even to Babylon don't talk hey, going into the old Babylon right under the 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 Syrian empire right but what what now we're in spiritual Babylon America the place of confusion the place of idols right there shall thou uh, be delivered there Yahweh shall redeem thee from the hand of thy enemy. See, though we're getting slayed and, and beaten down by, our, by the wicked, the Lord said he's going to deliver us from the hand of our enemies, man. But Lord willing, this is how to find him and say, call Allah, Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai, Bashim al the bonus to the elders and apostles of great millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole flag. Shalom.